Hi, my name is Niranjan and welcome to another episode of Champak Psyche where we teach you simple science experiments with things you can find near your home. History class has always been a bit of a bore, but in today's experiment we're going to make history a little interesting cuz we're making a catapult. What are you going to need for this? Well, you're going to need a lot of ice cream sticks, rubber bands, glue, a bottle cap and our launching projectile. Let's start with four sticks. This is going to serve as our fulcrum. We're going to secure it together with rubber band. Makes more sense to put the rubber bands on the two extreme edges ends of the ice cream sticks. All right. So our fulcrum is ready. Next we're going to make the base. Start off with by placing it roughly halfway and we're going to put our rubber bands in an X sort of shape. Basically sort of like that so it comes across like that. So when you let go of this this is going to turn away so you need to keep it perpendicular and secure it from the other side as well. Now that that's done it's time for a launching device. So once again it should roughly look like this. Keep it at one end. And we secure it. And yep, it's ready. Now all we need to do is glue our launch pad onto it. So we throw in a little bit of glue, apply a tiny dab right here, which is why I've got the bottle cap here. Wait for this to dry. Once it's dry, you can well your catapult sort of ready. So all you need to do is take a ping pong ball or a tiny bit of cotton, aim it at your friends and launch. Now let's come down to the history side of things. Catapults have been around since ancient times. The Greeks used them, the Romans used them, and the word catapult actually comes from the Greek words to pull down and to throw or hurl. Catapults have also been around since medieval times and also come under the classification of siege weapons. Now the interesting thing about how the catapult works is because of something called potential energy. Now the potential energy is basically stored. So when I've got the armature here and I pull it down, it's stored and it's because of its position away from the equilibrium that potential energy is created and when I let it go, the object flies through space. Try this at home. Tell me what you think. Try moving the fulcrum here back and forth and tell me how that affects how far your object flies. Try using a ping pong ball but please don't use stones you might hurt somebody you might poke an eye out or something thank you so much for watching this episode of champak sai q and when you try this at home please leave your thoughts in the comments below this was brought to you by champak and 1mc and my name is niranjan thank you and please subscribe